Hey, what's going on YouTube? Prevised here. Welcome to another Roblox scripting tutorial. So we're going to be scripting in a door where only a certain player can go through or admins. So we're going to create a table with some players names and if their name is not in the players list, then they will die if they touch it. All right, so go to view insert um uh, sorry. Press on explore uh, properties and output okay so insert a part and let's just make a door I know it's gonna be kind of big but whatever make sure you anchor and that's about it that's good enough you can change up the properties if you want uh, insert object click on the door let's insert a script okay so first off we need to make a table let's name the table admins equals and then let's do this so admins equals so now we need to put our names in so first off what you need to do is click on play in studio mode check and see what your name is in studio mode my roblox name is pre star but in studio it's called player so player so you need to have it like that uh, make sure you have your studio name and you can put a comma and you can also just put your real name, which mine's Preystar. Okay, so that's a table. Now also, what we need to do is put some brackets around. Oops, make sure the quotes are, the quotes or apostrophes, it does not matter, are inside the brackets. Okay, so let's do that around both names, like that. And also, we wanna do equals true like that and on the other name behind that bracket equals true so make sure it looks like this so we have a table with names and you can also insert more names like if you wanted to insert another one just put a comma after the true and then just put a bracket and then this 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 equals true like that so you have to do okay so you need the equals true just change up the name that's inside the brackets or quotes I mean quotes or apostrophes just change up that alright so now we need to get to the script so we can make a variable called part equals script dot parent so what this is saying uh, the variable can be whatever you want any variable any variable can be whatever you want so let's just name it part equals script right here dot parent so anytime we say part that means this part so if we say part dot can collide equals false then that's what it's gonna do It's gonna have this part can collide equal to false so we would be able to go through it so that's what that is so we need to make a function so part dot touched connect function Let's just add hit inside of that. So once we touch part is what it's saying. So once we touch the part, then this happens. Then the code happens. I know I spelled code wrong, whatever. So what we need to do is make an if statement. So if admins, which is the table. So if admins. And then the name is uh, equal to hit dot parent dot name. So like once we touch the part, if our name is equal to player or prey star, then sorry I spell kind of bad. Then we want this to happen. So let's do. So once that happens, if we touch it and our name is equal to player or prey star, then part dot can collide equals false so right now it's true do not uncheck it do not keep it true and so if we touch it then it turns false and we can also do part dot transparency equals 0 0.5 or 0 0.5 that's good enough and then we can have it wait one second and part let's 
I really don't want to type that out. Let's just copy this. Paste. And then change transparency back to zero after one second is gone. And change this to true. So we cannot go through it anymore. Well, you can if if your if your name is player pray star then you can go back through it but yeah you want it to be true so no one else can go through it if you know what I mean so and then make sure you have an end so that okay that's done now okay let's press enter right here now let's do else if so instead of writing another if statement, we can just do else if. And then you can write on this line, you can write what it's saying is, okay, I'm sorry, don't do else if, I'm tripping over here. So else, which is if your if your name is not player or pre star, then we want this to happen. So what do you want to happen? Well, what I want to happen is I want the player to die. So hit dot parent break joints. There's something called break joints. I'm, I spelled that wrong. Make sure you spell it right. So what break break joints does is if you touch it, then your character breaks all the welds. So your character is like not connected anymore. And that's pretty much what that is. So hit dot parent. So if your right leg hits it, then it's going to go into the right leg's parent, which is the player. And then so the player is going to break joints. Make sure you have this right here, the parentheses. We can do that. And you can also change up some properties. So you can make some more properties, more over here or more here. Do whatever you want. So let's just check and see if this works. I'm so sorry if you guys don't understand what I'm talking about. I'm just trying to explain this the best, the best I can. So I know it's we get an error. Break joints is not a, vim, a valid member of hat because hat can't break joints. So you see how it works now? Yeah, it's kind of glitches sometimes. Now what if our name was not, let's take the E off. Now, what if our name was not spelt right? So, my name on here is player with the E, but in the, our, the name like that is not in the table anymore. Boom, we die. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. So, peace out.